loaded in pretty cool oh wow as you can see you can actually explore it in the 3d space and zoom it with just simple mouse actions Hey, what is up? Welcome back, Design Squad. Today, I want to share with you a recent discovery, a new development, in fact, in the design tool space, and in particular with the 3D design tools. Because if you're a designer, you know, maybe you're a product or UI designer, and you thought of kind of learning a little bit about the 3D space and how to use that to enrich your designs, this is it. And so, what I'm going to do today is really just have a first look at this tool because it's a brand new. So, you can see what it's supposed to produce is these type of 3D bits, which is really easy to assemble and they're reactive, there's transitions, actions, and it's supposed to be like almost like that sketch or Figma familiar interface, but the end result is an actual exportable web 3D objects. And so the tool is totally free for now. You can try it out yourself. I'm not affiliated with them at all. It's just was very impressive. And I thought that it would be really good first addition to any designer who wants to learn more about 3D. As you can see, you can start with a template files, some like bunny character, cube character, device model, icon cloud. I want to explore first, let's say the bunny character interface is very familiar, but you have a lot of objects and I have a layer list here. But as you can see, everything is basically an assembly, a creation of different objects of different elements. For example, you can create a circle if you want to or a 3D object like this, for example, this is a square, you know, move it across X, Y and Z dimensions, you can clone those different bits. So let's say I just copy pasted it, for example, these clouds like so I can then make a better composition dragging it across. And then you can also preview, let's say from the front, left, right. So you can as you design a like, check how it looks like or you can press different keys and just preview how that looks like. And if this is something you're after, you can then export it. As you can see, public URL, web content and image. So let's just export as a JPEG. And that doesn't look too bad. As you can see, this is it. And it's in a pretty good quality to use in, let's say, web design or app design, if that's what you're after. As you can see, this is a scene with a mobile mock-up and a lot of different bubbles. You can preview from all the different dimensions if I want to view it from a perspective like so. As you can see, it kind of bends optically different objects. Maybe this is what I'm after. I can then place, let's say, something in the mock-up. What I find interesting is really this this type of properties tab because I'm able to define a lot of different bits. Maybe this is the background I want to play with, something like that, let's say, very contrasty. I'm just gonna go straight to the dark grays, like so, not entirely black. And if I want to, let's say, edit something like an object, like that bubble, it's almost like any other design tool you probably have experienced already and you can select the gradient itself. So maybe we're going to go for something like a bit more bluish besides all the other different bits, which you would expect from a design tool, like a regular 2D tool. What's cloner, I wonder. So I guess what it did, it really just cloned the same object at the random space and I can increase. Wow, that's pretty damn cool. So I can increase the object rate and say if it's linear, for example, clone different bits, resize it. Or if you want particles, I guess you could use that as well. Should then add a slightly different view. As you can see, the perspective adds a little slightly different view like so, which is damn cool if you ask me. So if I go and export, let's say, as a web content, so you can actually turn on the behaviors for your users, let's say, like rotation, panning, zooming. And if we export this public URL, let's see what it does. Oh, it gives us a link. Boom, it loaded in pretty cool. Oh, wow. You can see you can actually explore it in the 3D space and zoom it with just simple mouse actions, enrich your portfolio cases or client cases, put your designs in it. Thing what I just noticed as I was exploring it is this states and events options. As you can see, you can also switch the camera if you, I guess, define it yourself. As you can see, you have a state. If I added a new one, which is a basic state, you can basically have a couple of states to your object and if I go to state one, I wonder if I resize, let's say something along those lines, as you can see, then it goes from state to state. But I wonder what does that trigger? Do I have to do an event, I guess, to trigger that? 
so on mouse down power let's say object sphere i guess if you would give it a name it would be more descriptive we're gonna go to state one repeat cycle transition nice so you can do a lot of that i guess if you define the states and if you didn't notice there is this preview option in the tool so i can just present boom you can see it's a bit slow but you can imagine that now every object is able to do something just like in the preview can't really copy the state i guess that would be nice but let me just try to do something else with this phone let's see so if i add another state and that state one maybe we can rotate the phone like that let's say not bad and as you can see i just really quickly played around there is a lot of other bits you can add actually so you can add a lot of different starter tools so for example the basic shapes as you can see i added a bunny sculpture so let's say if you want to start with something much more complex you can do that as well and then you can also add things like cameras as you can see i have different cameras now set up so if i would want to switch from one to the other if i'm let's say exporting or playing around i can do that too you can also put different point lights spotlights directional lights right now it's very basic so for example this is my key light I could put intensity on and now I have one directional, one, one point light. You can also modify the shade of it too. Actually, I didn't even notice at first and I think they should be a bit more prominent with that. But you're going to get a lot of free stuff from say, Google Polygon library, which is basically a 3D objects which you can use freely. You can also search for images. So for example, if you want to put some sort of landscape and 3D around it, you can literally just click on that photo and we're gonna put a static photo for you to explore, which you can then adjust and let's say maybe put it in the background. But let's just try to do another thing in that library in those polygons. If I select something simple, like let's say that fox, let's just load it in. minutes later and so it doesn't really budge that's the only thing what doesn't really work in this tool for me at least i even try to go on google poly library as well and just do it manually export import nothing seems to budge i wonder if there is some sort of integration issue maybe it's a temporary thing but it would be super nice if i could just literally select one of the objects and it would be added immediately shouldn't be really hard to do because if you think about it the google's polygons are very lightweight for example this fox i wanted to drag in is just kilobytes it's not even megabytes but it doesn't so i guess there is like a bug or tech issue which might be get fixed in the future so that's the only thing which is a bit disappointing besides that there's so many other bits here which you should explore because there's just so much you could do with this tool as you can see from the basic shapes which allows you to do all the different 3d icons things which are super trendy right now which you should know how to do anyways working with the lights with the objects composing it all together is really hard but it's really worth learning i'm not affiliated with a tool at all it's just a really exciting recent development in the design space and i think you should check it out because it's free to start there are some pro features but regardless you can just jump in and make some really awesome 3d designs available which are friendly for a web space as per usual if you like this video give a like subscribe to this channel leave a comment down below and on that note i'll see you next time